Washington, D.C., site of the 2016 American Alliance of Museums Annual Meeting. Nearly 6,000 museum professionals from 50 countries gathered to share ideas, and 3D Photo Works was there. Educators, exhibit designers, curators, everyone was excited to discover our vision for accessible art and photography for the blind. In the U.S., one person goes blind every 11 minutes. I was honored to host a special panel that shared the value 3D PhotoWorks offers the visually impaired. So with regard to 3D tactile art, I'm able to exercise my freedom of interpreting the art. I had only hoped to realize the impact 3D PhotoWorks would have for the blind when I put my photography career on pause in 2008. For years, I covered wars and traveled with presidents. I learned the power of images firsthand. And I wondered, what's it like for those who can't see? I searched out experts. Museums aren't doing the best job that they can right now because they really don't have a solution. They don't have the, the means to serve different communities, including those with low vision. I listened to the frustrations of the visually impaired. Museums are boring. You cannot see the pictures they have in the museum. Very little audio. Most things are hidden so you can't touch it. I learned that through neuroplasticity, the blind visualize through touch. So I began to craft a unique 3D technology that would create that mental picture. We built in sensor-activated audio descriptions and I enlisted a team of sight-impaired advisors to make sure our process served their needs. Kneeling at the stern, using a canoe paddle to help navigate. I like the description. Remember Luke Ganderas? He's 3D PhotoWorks' youngest consultant. It's really cool. It was time to launch our first prototype. Oh my goodness, just incredible, amazing. The response was overwhelming. That is so cool. I've always wanted to see that. Can you feel his eyes? Yeah, they're like really wide open. It confirmed this was a solution for a vast audience hungry for visual information. I got really excited as a parent of a blind child. I'm thrilled to see this exhibit and I hope this goes all over the world. Within months, we were sought out by the Canadian Museum for Human Rights in Winnipeg, Canada. Good. Hit it with the museum. Yeah. Perfect. Right this way. We were looking for um, unique ways that we could extend the inclusivity and reach of the exhibition that we were developing. It was a watershed moment for blind visitors. And when I felt his mouth and had the description that it was wide open. As if in joyful play. It's like, wow, I saw it. And it really felt good that I could experience what everybody else does. And this unique story was unnatural for the media. We have been in stories that have run all across the country and uh, the requests keep pouring in. For the very first time, a museum had the technology to allow the blind to see images as if they were sighted and without someone else interpreting for them. I thought, hey, I'm actually having an artistic moment. The success at the Canadian Museum for Human Rights led Corey Timpson to share his experience on our Washington panel. So we received over eight million dollars in earned media value through this exhibition and, and in large part due to the fact that we were breaking new grounds with 3D PhotoWorks and the technology. The intangible ROI and, and arguably the most important was the more inclusive experience that we offered for everyone. And I hope it goes viral. There are 285 million blind and sight impaired worldwide searching for that inclusive museum experience and looking for your help. I love this. This is a unique opportunity for your organization to make a real difference. It's groundbreaking and life changing for someone who can't, who can't see. Become part of a worldwide network of accessible museums and institutions that welcome the sight impaired. Contact us at 518-392-8161 or email us at info at 3dphotoworks.com or visit our website 3dphotoworks.com